Welcome back guys and girls. Now, I'd like to apologize in advance because it turns out I've developed the hiccups over the past couple of hours, but we're going to do our best anyway. All right, so, oh gosh, there goes another one. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is change documentation to post, just because I think it's going to be something more relevant uh, that you can all play around with. So let's rename this file to post.view. And basically, we're going to just jump around a little bit and change things to po post. So post there, jump in here, change that to my posts, and let's just keep things really simple. So the first post, the introduction, this is the intro. Yep, I think that's good enough. And we'll jump into the config, change that from documentation to post, change that from docs to posts and i think that's probably just about just about it yeah i think so so let's run gridsome develop and see if we run into any problems and it looks like we have a problem here with our query so whereabouts is that ah that would be in pages index yeah okay so i need to change that to post and i think that might be it there we go, it seems to be running okay, so let's see if it works. <laughs> All right, we can click on that and it works. There we go, we're dealing with posts now. So with our front matter here, wouldn't it be cool if we could actually pull that front matter through to our template? Okay, so what if you want to have the title sitting up the top there? How do we do that? Well, we can actually do this in our query. So if I jump into source, go to post, here we go, if we jump into our template, we can actually add a query here to grab a single post. So we'll say page query like that, and page query, oh, it looks like I've thrown it inside the script tag. Silly me, <coughs> throw it in there. Cool, now to figure out what that query is going to be, we'll just open GraphQL Playground. So here we are, and we're going to say query post, and now what we can do is actually accept some variables here. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a funny one. And the variable we want is the ID. So I use a dollar sign there to say that it's a variable. And then we wanna put in the type, which will be ID. And that exclamation mark there means that this is re required. So let's jump in there. And in the last example, we said all post, but in this example, we just want a single post. And the ID of that post will be equal to the ID that's passed through, okay? So we grab the ID and we pass it through there. And then we wanna grab the post title. Let's see if we can do that. And you'll notice we'll get an error because the, I, whoa, the ID hasn't been supplied, okay? And that's because we said there needs to be an ID, but we don't have one. And what we can do here with GraphQL Playground is actually supply our own uh, variables such as the ID. However, oh, excuse me, we don't have an ID yet. So I'm gonna copy that, create a new tab, and this time we'll say, or post, so similar stuff to what we were doing before. We don't need that, we don't need that, and we're going to grab the edges and the nodes, and then I wanna grab the ID. So let's run that query, and there we go, there's an ID that we can play around with. So I'll copy that, come back to our other query here, and we're going to supply the ID, there we go. So now this ID is going to be slotted in there, meaning that it's going to be slotted in there and we'll be grabbing the post with that ID. So let's press play and there we go, we have it. Now that we know that's working, we can copy this and use it in our code. So jumping back to Visual Studio Code, I'm just gonna whack it straight in there. Now, this variable here, is actually automatically supplied to us in our template. So view remark is automatically going to give us that ID for free. So I don't need to do anything to supply that ID. It'll automatically give it to us, goes in there, and then the ID will be equal to the correct post ID. So that's pretty cool. And we've got the title, so let's give this a go. See if we can spit out the title, and I'll do it in a H1. And we'll just add some moustaches page.post.title. Let's see if that works. So we'll come back here, refresh the page, and there we go. We have the title coming through. 
Pretty cool, huh? Now, the other thing we can do is add a little bit more front matter. So let's play around here. What if we want the author? So that'll be equal to Luke Diebold. That's my name. And then maybe the author for this post is Aaron Winton. I just made that name up then. Ha. Ah. Okay, so coming back here, now let's see if we can throw in the author. And I'll just throw it in a span like that. And we'll say page.post.author. Save that. And it's actually not going to work unless I add it to the query here. Okay, so GraphQL is very efficient. It only grabs what it needs. So you, you have to tell it exactly what you need. So we're going to say GraphQL, I want the author as well. Oh, and the reason that's happening is because we need to restart the server. Okay, so sometimes when you do things like add new front matter, you just need to give the server a restart and everything will work. There we go. Refresh the page. And there we go. The, the author shows up there as well. So maybe we could do something like this. Put a strong tag there and then put in author. And there we go. There's our title. That's the author, and there's the actual, the actual body of the post. Now, just to give us a better idea of what this is going to look like, I'm going to grab me some lorem ipsum. There we go. And uh, what I might just copy all of that. Control-C, come back here into index, <laughs> and paste that straight in. Okay, so we'll go to the index post. And there we go. So this is starting to shape up pretty good. Another thing you might want to add is the date that it was posted. So let's practice this because this is something you might be doing a lot, adding front matter. So we'll say created at, and now I'm just going to get a JavaScript uh, date. So I'll come in here and say, let date is equal to new date. And then we'll say date dot to JSON. And there we go. I can get the current time. So I'm just going to copy that. And so we can add the date in as well. And let's just copy that into the, other, into the other one. Boom. Come back here into our post and let's spit out the date. And I'll put that in span. And now just to prove to you it doesn't work unless we qu query the data, I'm going to say create it at, save it. That does not work because we haven't fetched the data. So we're just going to add in here created at. Oh, oh <laughs> that's right. It's still not going to work because we do have to refresh the server when we add new, da new data in there. There we go. Refresh. And the, the date's being added in there. So we should probably, I don't know, add a break there. How about that? Yep, it works. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's see if we can do a little bit of styling here. Just because it looks really ugly, everything's sort of leaning over to the edges. So maybe we could do something like this. Say style is equal to, and we'll say margin zero auto. And then I think I'll just give it a max width of 700 pixels, something like that. Refresh the page. Yeah, now it's really starting to look like a blog. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I think we'll stop there in this video. And in the next one, I'm going to show you how we can use slots in our component. Oh, gosh, these hiccups are terrible. <laughs> so then you can use it in your markdown. And I'm also going to show you how you can use a custom layout. So by default, all of this using v view remark is just thrown with, oh gosh, all of this is just thrown within a div. But what we can actually do is have our own custom layout. And we're gonna add like a border around this using a custom layout. All right, cool. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, as I always do. See you in the next video where we'll, exp oh, where we'll explore those things and hopefully my hiccups will be gone. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. See you soon.